Hello everyone, it's Grandma Jackie and I'm back with a Dollar Tree video. Today is Monday. I don't know what the weather's like, but it's supposed to be warmer than it was this weekend here. Um, <clears throat> I have just a little bit for you. Not finding a whole lot that's new or different or that I want from the Dollar Tree, but um, I just want to show you what I found and go from there. And it is Monday, like I said. I'm on my work weekend still <laughs> so <clears throat> with that being said after I clear my voice like a hundred times let me take a drink of my coffee okay oh boy I gotta get some of these out of this laundry basket right beside me I'm sitting in this position because <clears throat> if I sit in the position I usually do then I have to make up my bed and stuff and I've got my planner stuff all over my bed because I've been trying to do stuff out outside of work on a work weekend. It never works out. It never works out, but I, it doesn't stop me from trying, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> I gotta get a bunch of these out here. My daughter is obsessed with those stupid hot pickles. And her girls like them too, I guess. And... I showed her that I got a few at this one store and so she was like I will take every one of them you can find I'm like oh my goodness <clears throat> so I found several like 10 of the hot pickles not at the same store but I was pick I've been picking them up but um, these hot pickles like I don't even know you gotta you gotta go to a store that has one of those snack zones and they'll have the hot pickles. But then I also found something different, which I hadn't seen before and I picked up three of them for. I don't know if she'll like them, but it's something that would be cute for her and the girls to try. It's tart and tangy flavor sour pickle. So, mm -hmm. I did pick up three of those for. So now she can have all of our pickles. What are pickle eaters? <clears throat> Okay, I picked up the six pack of Essentials Jumbo Pas Plastic Clothespins. Um, I have a project in mind that I'm going to have to use these for. Um, and I may actually do a video on that, so stay tuned. Not today, but stay tuned. <clears throat> okay, my husband's seen these there. He thought it was a good deal. I'm not so sure. But I said, go ahead and pick it up. A dollar twenty-five for two, four, six toothbrushes. So no, eight toothbrushes. What? Two, four, six. It says eight. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. I'm like, what is happening here? <coughs> okay, it's an eight piece. It says eight pieces. But the eight pieces is the cup to put it in and then the cup to rinse yeah and the six toothbrushes in it which probably isn't that bad of a deal but I just don't know how good of toothbrushes they are and I was trying to see the like if it was a soft or medium toothbrush and it I'm not finding where it says that show sure. hmm soft soft nylon bristles I don't know so he had to have that I was like okay then I did find my marbles the other day you know I had lost my marbles I found them <laughs> so I also picked these up because I thought they were cute to use in a little jar project thing that I want to try to do too <laughs> I have so many projects I should show you my project list sometime you guys would be like <laughs> Let's get real. <laughs> okay, so just these clear marble things. And they are the round ones. I know they have like the stones, but these are the round marble looking things. So I did get those. And I got two of these, and I want to transplant a plant. <laughs> and I don't know how well it's going to work. I hope I don't kill it because I've had it for years. But it's in. Uh, a container that's way too big it's a house plant and I haven't killed it yet but I feel 
feel like this is more the size it needs rather than three times the size. <laughs> so I picked up two of these and these are the kind you can water from the bottom, which I like. You know, then you don't get like if you overwater or whatever, which I have a tendency to do. I either overwater or I forget to water. Um, you get the little things on the top. So anyways, you know, I'm going to try these and I love like the, I don't know, like the forest green color of them. I think that's pretty. <clears throat> and then I got these and I probably didn't need any more containers for Easter, but I had purchased these before I got out all my Easter and now I know. <laughs> so... Dollar Tree. Okay. I got five of these and two different ones are repeats. This one is a yellow one. It says Bunny Kisses and Easter Wishes. Look how cute that is. Um, this one is one where I got two of the same color. This says Bunny Trail. And then this one, two of the same one, and it says, shake your cottontail, which I love that saying. Oh my gosh. Shake your cottontail. I need a t-shirt that says that. <clears throat> then I found these signs, and you no, know I didn't need any more signs. The, there's just three of them, and they're really, really pretty. And I think they go with my front room very, very well. So this one says, pick your own carrot patch, fruits, herbs, veggies, and farm fresh daily. And I love how it's kind of got the burlap thing framing around it. With, of course, the truck. The truck, the truck. And this one <clears throat> says, hippity hops, carrot patch, um, organic, locally grown. It's got the bunny on it. 25 cent carrots. So I like that one. I couldn't decide, so I just got all three of them. This one says Cottontail Easter Egg Farm. Fill your basket open daily. It's got the little bunny on it. So too cute. Okay, I'm done with signs. Maybe. I was looking over there in that other basket. I was like, maybe. Okay. <clears throat> Just a few stickers in this haul. Um, I got two of these, and they're 30 piece, um, and they just have the letters. And I intended to get these to put on the outside of my um, binders that's holding my stickers again. Because I redid my sticker thing, part of it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I can't find anything that makes me happy with my sticker storage. So I'm just, I'm using a lot of them anyways, because I got more than one planner going on. So that's helpful. Use them up. Um, and then I got these pop-up stickers. There's 10 of them and it's like a birthday. Birthday girl. Celebrate. I don't know, you can see they're kind of glittery too. And then this one, Rub On Transfers, and I kind of liked it. It says, follow your dreams and be brave and boho. These are rub-ons. <clears throat> so that's it for the stickers. So then I got a book, and I love Peter Rabbit. I absolutely love Peter Rabbit. So this is the super book to color. And it's the tail of Peter Rabbit. I'll show you just a couple. Oh, looky, looky, looky. And so you can read the story as you go along. Probably for an older child. Then I got photo booth props and because they're emojis and these are fun. These are really fun. There is poop in here. You know how my grandkids are with that poop emoji. But there's different poops. There's like regular poop, a cupcake poop, and a unicorn poop. 
So I picked that up. <laughs> and they are really cute too. So if you just want to have some fun or pull it out for a birthday party or use it for an accessory for a gift basket, that's fun too. Okay. And then these I'm going to make peeps out of because I seen someone doing it. I don't remember if it was on YouTube or it was Pinterest. <clears throat> but these things from the do Dollar Tree. I have one of these, one purple one, that I kneel down on by the bathtub to give Lila a bath because my knees kill me if I don't. So I use one in there. But I got two blue and two purple. And I'm going to cut them out in the shape of a peep. So hopefully that works out. I'm not sure how I'm going to cut it and I'm not even sure like I'm going to have to make a template or something. I don't know. This is a project that I want to do and I'm going to. I possibly can do it while I live here even. So yeah. And then I was really hoping that we was kind of on on a better Gosh, you can't even say that. I was really hoping that things were going to do a turnaround with a certain situation. <sighs> but of course, then you hear different news, so whatever. Um, so I got one of these because I wanted to try it and see if it helped. Because whenever you wear the... <sighs> when you wear the N95s, sometimes it's so tight to your face. It like restricts even your nose cavity. So I thought maybe this would help just a little bit, these turtle things. I don't know. I mean, as long as the seal stays around this area, you're good. But if it just pulls it away from your nose a little bit so you have that extra... I have such a fat face. And I say this at work all the time. It's because my face is so full that I always have like the indents around. And every, you know, and I got fat sticking up like this. <laughs> that looks silly, but I'm telling you the truth. So anyways, I wanted to try these. I just got one package just in case it didn't work. And I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it does okay because I don't really know how it's going to work. <clears throat> this is it easily fits into your mask, but I don't understand how. If it just sits there like on the tip of your nose. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> I'll test that out and I'll let you guys know if you guys haven't already tested it out. Um, my husband was with me on this part of it probably because he got his moon pies and his cream of wheat. So those are definitely repeat buys. He's probably been looking for them. <laughs> I got... This little doodad, but I'm not even for sure. Like, I was looking at it, I was like, well, this is new. Let's see. It's supposed to be for your face. And... I'm trying to read it. Microderm... Derma Roller. So is it... Okay, hold on. Non-invasive micro grow needles what gently stimulate the skin needles uh -uh. let me show it to you I'm gonna open this bad boy up like needles what I gotta see now I'm invested Okay, so it comes in a little case. That's kind of cool. I don't know about this, but it's kind of cool. 0.25 millimeter. What the heck does that mean? So you pull it apart. Oh, no. uh doesn't really give you directions. 
Oh yes, it does on the back. The roller can be used on a face every three to five days depending on your results. Cleanse your skin, make sure your roller is clean and disinfected. Disinfect by thoroughly wiping the head of the roller with a clean cloth soaked in alcohol. Using mild pressure, roll back and forth on the, at the same intensity on the treatment area five to ten times in each of the four directions horizontally vertically and diagonally do not force the roller into your skin follow treatment you may apply cream and other skincare products what I don't know about that <laughs> oh boy my face isn't clean oh what in the heck you can feel I mean it doesn't hurt but you can feel the little prickly yeah well I want to do it right if I'm gonna do it so I need to you know like have my face clean and everything because I already cleaned my face and then put on my moisturizer and stuff so that's interesting it's very interesting and it's like the packaging is kind of cool too. Let's put it back in the packaging so I remember the directions. <clears throat> Every three to five days, okay. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen this in your area or if you tried it yet. Let me know if you got it and tried it and like like what it does. I don't know. I honestly don't know, but that's interesting. I was like, needles? Nuh-uh. I'm not doing that. Okay. <clears throat> I found some of this. Um, what do you what do you call it? <sighs> it says ribbon, but it's not. There's a name for it. But anyways, I found blue, purple, and pink. I was looking for yellow. Why am I not finding any yellow? But those you know it always reminds me of like the charlie brown shirt <laughs> i don't know why but anyways there's three yards on each one so i got these kind of for like easter or shed and i picked up one of these moss bunnies and there's three in each one and these are super cute i have a moss bunny but um i think i have three of them they're bigger from hobby lobby but look at these babies. I think I'm going to, well, I was going to say if I put them in there right beside those, that's not going to work because then Lila will get these. She doesn't mess with my big ones, but if she's seen babies, she probably would. So what, <clears throat> what I could do is since these are like styrofoam, you can put one of those um, wooden, what do you call it, skewers or for the barbecue. I don't remember. You put one of those push it into the end there and stick this in a Easter um, arrangement so that'd be cute too that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing these are so cute <clears throat> oh look what I found these are awesome these little egg things now I got two egg garlands <clears throat> that I got hanging on both sides of my French doors and they were from Hobby Lobby of course, these are, like you know, different quality, of course, but these are cute. They're plastic. And it just says garland, but it doesn't say how long they are, but, I mean, you can tell. So, yeah, super cute. You can put this on a tear tray to decorate it or whatever. Whatever. Fancy. Fancy-like. <clears throat> oh goodness I found these and I picked them up um it is Tat Tat Tatiana I can't say that very well um but they're stainless steel and they're for like um cuticle scissors basically but they look like they're really good quality really really good quality I was trying to see where they were made but I can't tell 
Ah, it says German brand. No wonder they're good quality. Usually all of like the metal um, and machinery and things like that that come from Germany is really good quality. Because we have, um, in particular, a factory that had German machinery and that stuff runs forever. Forever. It's like dinosaurs. Oh, so anyways, back to the subject. These look like they're really good quality, so I picked them up. That's why. They're from Germany. And a couple things to put in the Easter baskets. I just got two, one of each. They have blue raspberry and green apple, these warhead things. And this is green apple and watermelon. So like each of the kids' Easter things are going to be different. Like they're not all going to have the same stuff in it, which is fine. I picked up one of these um, arcade space sabers. Not real sure, but it's like one of those little blind ball things that you don't know what's in it until you open it. Picked one of those up. Got Lila some really cool sunglasses. She's got another pair that she kind of wears around here. So, I picked her up a pair so she can play. Oh, my husband. Hot tamales. Repeat bite for him. And there's some more junk food. Some Milky Way Simply Caramel, which these are really good. I like the caramel in these. And then I ate one of these last night. We got three. So I was going to pick up two. My husband said pick up three. It was a good deal for $1.25 even. And so I guess these two are his since I ate mine. But it's an M&M uh, milk chocolate bar with mini M&M's and almonds. And it was really good. Like I, I snacked on it about midnight. I got home from work. Okay. Then I got this. And it's a sand timer. And it is two minutes. Okay. I've been trying to time Lila to have her sit on the potty for two minutes since she's two. That's, that's my thinking. I think that's what I did with the kids when they were little. Um, and she is having a hard time doing it. And I like can't count on my thing because I'm busy trying to keep her busy. So I thought if we have this so she can actually see it go down. And whenever it goes down all the way in the bottom, then she can be done. So just if she sits there for just a little bit, just a little bit. Maybe something will come out. Oh, and then I got pink and purple of these. And I knew I had the blue one somewhere, so it was in another basket. These little, what are they calling it? Baking molds. So I do have the pink and the purple too. The little bunny. Then, almost done with this basket. Then I have, I got these last year in, in for the Easter, was it Easter baskets? Some basket that I made for the kids. But, like, the kids had a blast with these. Like, it, it was, it was really fun. So, four older kids are getting one of these in their Easter baskets. And these are the whack balloons. Like, it kind of scares you, but at the same time, it's really fun. <laughs> so, yeah, these little whack, you whack them and they... And they're little. They're, they don't like blow up to something big or whatever. But yeah. I got a couple of these Crafter Square um, fabrics. And these are um, the colors that like puts me in mind of like old fashioned primitive maybe. But you'll see what I'm talking about. See? Like, you can make um, cloth... Hold on just a moment. Okay, back. You can make, like, cloth carrots for um, Easter in a primitive form or whatever. Or whatever. I don't know. I picked them up. Um, two more items. I picked up this Believe Beauty, and it's an eyeshadow. And I just thought the color was really pretty. It's called... Dahlia. 
don't know if you can see that. You probably can't even see it. It's kind of like a, a brown with a lot of glitter. It's hard to see. Anyways. And then these. You guys know I use, I use these things like crazy. I've used up every one of my got. I got black, red, blue, and silver, I think. I even made up little um, first aid bags for each of my grandkids out of these things. Now I found white. Totally found white. Um, if I find any more white, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out things for Nurses Week. And last year I made them out of mostly Dollar Tree things. The um, little convenience boxes. I put candies and stuff like that in it and things they needed. So, I don't know. This year I might make them like their own little first aid bags. But I thought white represents, I don't know why I think nursing. But anyways, so I found three of them at this one store. I'm going to be looking out for more because I believe I need something like eight. At least eight. I'm not positive. But yeah, I thought how cool would that be to like make them up their own little, I don't know. Maybe like a nurse survival kit. I can do it. Oh, I just kicked this. Sorry. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Um, I hope you have a great Monday. Great start of your week. I hope the weather's nice where you're at. I hope you're safe and warm. Um, I hope um, you and all your family are happy and healthy and you stay that way i think about the way things are every night before i go to bed and i definitely say my prayers so i pray for everybody um so with that being said please stay safe take care of yourself and i will catch you later